Ryan Cody here, class of 2005, checking in with you, I guess. So I got these questions here I need to answer. Uh, number one, what do you love about Xavier? Honestly, the thing I love about Xavier is the relationships that, that I formed when I was there and, and still have. Oftentimes I'll run into people in various places, even across the country, and, and it's, uh, we always have that connection. So it's one of those things that I, I really love about Xavier. Uh, number two, what makes Xavier great? Uh, there's a lot of things that make Xavier great, really. It's uh, obviously academics. Or it's, a, it's a great school, uh, first and foremost. Uh, a lot of great athletics. I mean, I played football personally, so um, I'll never forget my time playing football. And, and it's a great school because of the camaraderie, some of the relationships they're able to form there, and even some of the people that I still speak to, not only students but, but former teachers and, and stuff like that. So uh, number three, why did I choose Xavier? That one's easy. I didn't choose Xavier. <laughs> um, my father went to the Zaverian Brothers High School in Brooklyn, New York, and when he got a job in Connecticut before I was born, uh, chose to live in Middletown because he always wanted me to go to another Zaverian Brothers sponsored school. So that's why I ended up uh, going to Xavier in Middletown. So it was really a parent's decision, and, and it was a good one. I'm, I'm glad for that. Uh, number four, what were you involved with at Xavier? How did the clubs, academics, teachers, et cetera, et cetera I swear I, I know how to read, um, shape you into the man that you are today? Uh, well, I played football, um, first and foremost. I mean, I, I did a couple other things, too, but the thing that I'll always remember is football. Um, you know, Coach Marin in there, really, I, I felt like he was a good role model in my life, definitely helped me out with a lot of things that I did, not just Coach Marin, but all the coaches across the board. And really just the game of football is one of those things I don't think can it, – it, it's just – it teaches you so much about life things that you don't even realize that in, the, in the moment uh, that now, you know, almost 10 years later, I'm realizing that football helped me become sort of the person that I am today. Um, number five, what does the school motto, be a man, mean to you? Um, to be a man is really to do the right thing, um, not always the easy thing. A lot of times in life you'll be faced with challenges that, you have a couple decisions. You can go one way or the other, and one of them's easy, and one of them's tough, and a lot of times the tough one is, is the way to go, um, and it, it's hard to see that in the moment as well, but I feel like a real man is, is someone who, who, who does the right thing regardless of, of what's facing them, regardless of who they, who they have to face in that situation. Just, just do the right thing and, and know that in the end it'll all work out because you face the situation like a man. Um, number six, what's the best experience you had at Xavier? Uh, football. It's football, absolutely. I mean, it's one of those things. I'm not trying to put down any other sports here, uh, but I am. I mean, football teaches you more about life than anything I ever did in high school. I mean, I mean academics obviously were huge, and they teach you how to keep your mind sharp and, and get the job that you want, but in terms of treating people with respect, um, being able to take criticism, take it the right way, move forward. I mean, the game of football is really, it's the game of life. Um, and that's the best experience that I had. I mean, the moment that I can remember is when we, uh, we beat Shelton my senior year to win the division championship. It's a moment I'll never forget, to be honest. Um, it was a game that they had to postpone uh, one day later because it was a huge snowstorm. Remember, they came and, and um, you know, cleared the field off, but it was still like playing on ice. And we beat Shelton. It was, it was, it was sort of an upset. And, uh, you know, it's a moment that I'll never forget. Number seven, uh, how did Xavier prepare you for college, work life, et cetera? Um, it prepared me for college. I ended up going to Arizona State. And the big thing that it, that it prepared me for was to, to make sure that I put academics first and foremost because there's so many other different distractions out there, and this could go for any college. So many distractions everywhere that you really have to focus on, you know, schoolwork first, because if you can't get the schoolwork done, you can't stay in school. So um, that was the big thing for me, learning that what's important and, and rolling with that. And really, uh, Xavier helped me do that. Um, and that, that also comes from, from my upbringing with my parents. Um, I know that my, my mother and father would never have no matter what school I went to, would have accepted me not getting good grades. So um, Xavier, Xavier did a lot in preparing me to be a man, and it's one of, those, one of those experiences that I'll never forget. Those four years probably made me more of a man than 
anything I've ever done in any years combined since then. So I really appreciate it. Thanks, thanks, for, uh, thanks for asking me to do this.